Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today I am going to share with you my current favorites. I have a mix of things as usual skincare, makeup, and all other things, including luxury. I don't have like a lot of favorites. In fact, I've only got about. I think less than 12 things which is actually saying something which means these are the items that I've just been using consistently since my last favorites video so these are really truly my current most used most loved current products yeah so if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Kat I love to do luxury related content handbags is my passion so is makeup and skincare. So if you love that kind of content, I hope you will subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. And for everyone else, welcome and let's get started. Start off with this beautiful emerald green top, which is actually a two-piece pajama set from Mom Silk. Thank you to Mom Silk for collaborating with me for this portion of the video. This is made of 100% mulberry silk. I love, okay, the piping. Of course, I love the green, but this white piping really makes the green just pop. Plus, it's short. Now, if you are in Singapore, it has been excruciatingly hot the past few months. And I even if I'm wearing cotton, I am sweating. So luckily, I have like several pieces of silk pajamas from Mom Silk that makes sleeping even in the aircon room just so pleasurable their material silk is so soft and so luxurious and it's so breathable and it's so cute i really love 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 i obviously will put a uh you know a mod shot that you can see how this looks like plus it's shorts means it's extra extra light and airy my legs can breathe in this extreme heat the other thing that i got from mom silk is their pillowcases so i do have several pillowcases from mom silk this is this beautiful uh, queen size pillowcase that has a i want to say undetectable zip my gosh silk people i can never sleep in any other pillowcase on any other pillowcases anymore because this is so soft it's so luxurious it's so good for my hair in fact my hair being so dry and just long right now actually because i'm sleeping on silk my hair does not break so easily even though i'm tossing and turning in this heat it's so good for your hair when you visit the mom silks website you're going to be spoiled by choice for so many silk products you've got silk pillowcases this is the 22 the thicker version they've got bedding they've got pajamas they've got tops they've got hair accessories you know if you have long hair or you know hair that you can tie silk scrunchies so good for your hair trust me i use them every day for gym you know i'm just tying my hair i'm pulling it off my hair Really, it's so gentle on hair and obviously on skin as well. Now, the other thing that Mom Silk sent to me, and I'm not going to bring it out for my room, but it's actually a silk comforter. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is like a savior if you live in Singapore or any country that has just such hot, humid climate. It's thin, it's made of 100% silk. You can use it to cover your bed, but you can also use it as a really light, comforter you know even though i have the fan on sometimes i still feel a little cold even though it's hot but it's like you know you have that fan blowing at you directly you want something to cover you and just keep you kind of cool but not too hot as well so this silk comforter which is washable is so perfect i have been using it from the day i got it and i just absolutely love it and because it's not too thick it's really good for summer or these kind of hot hot weathers so if you want to try it out mom silk is actually having a 12 percent discount site-wide on their website right now and i think it's all the way until the mid of june i will put all the information in the description section down below i'll also link this pajamas the pillowcase the comforter so you can easily go and check it out and you know if something doesn't work out for you like for example if you get a wrong size the size i'm wearing i am wearing s it is kind of loose but you know for pajamas it is a good size you have a 100 day return policy or exchange policy which is really really generous you can 
take it, you can just think about it, and then 100 days later, you can still consider saying, hmm, maybe I want to exchange it for a different size or a different color. So it makes it so easy and flexible. So yeah, make sure you go and check it out. And thank you again to Mom Silk for collaborating with me for this video. I've only got two skincare items, which are my absolute favorite. I have repurchased the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I bought it in the recent Sephora sale. I was living without this for a few months. I finished it and I was like, you know, being a little stingy. I didn't want to spend on it. So I was using all other essence and I was using like toners and kind of like rose water sprays. But yeah, nothing beats the facial treatment essence. The moment I got it, I whipped it out, I opened it and I splashed it on my face and I was like, oh my gosh. Why did I ever decide to be stingy and not use this? This rebalances my skin. It makes my skin just feel hydrated, plumped. It just feels like my skin is saying, ah, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Every other time after I come up from the shower or I wash my face, this is such a staple. I I shouldn't be stingy. You know, when I finish this, I should at least have a backup when, you know, coming towards the end. This is getting really expensive, but uh, when during they have like the Sephora sale, it's a little bit more affordable. So yeah, definitely a favorite. Has been a favorite. I don't even know why I stopped using this. Second skincare item is the La Mer Soft Moisturizing Cream or Moisturizing Soft Cream. I am kind of surprised by this. I have the cream version which I bought previously and I finally whipped it out. You need to massage it on your, you know, between your fingertips and then like pat it on your skin. I kind of like it. I find that, you know, when I, I, maybe I'm just so used to something a little thicker that when it feels like it's nothing on my skin, I don't feel like this gooiness on my skin. Not, not so used to it. But that cream, the next morning, my skin actually feels pretty good. It feels like it's it has a protection layer overnight and my skin actually feels like plump. But with this, I use this during the daytime and it's actually really hydrating and it does something to my skin. It makes it glow. I have been using this every day since I got it at the same time. Oops, at the same time with the Sephora sale. And I feel like my skin is is refreshed. I don't know what it is. So I'm kind of surprised by it. The only downside is this is just as expensive as the uh, original cream, but you do go through this a little bit more because it's soft cream. So you do take a little bit more than the original cream. So I feel like I'm going to go through this quite quickly and would I repurchase? I don't know. I have been enjoying it for sure, but it's really expensive. Probably if I repurchase this, it's going to be one of those like wait for the sale because I do have other moisturizers. But yeah, I have been really, really enjoying this soft moisturizing cream. Other skincare item, I'm going to reserve it for next month's favorites because I want to use it a little bit more and that's actually the Vanaf UP6. I got that from, a, from, from Vanaf. And I've been using it every, I would say every other night, just sitting there watching YouTube and I'm using the mask or the massage. Maybe I don't even have a mask on my face, I just have the moisturizer. I'm just using it like a massage tool on my skin. And I find it so relaxing and I find that it's, it's really doing something for my skin. Right after I finish it, my skin just feels like it's it's been worked. Like the muscles underneath my skin has been like, it had a little bit of a workout. So anyway, I'm going to talk about that a little bit more next month. You know, I'm, I want to use it. I want to see if I get into the habit of keeping up with the routine for another month before I talk about it. So yeah, look out for that if you're interested to know more about the Vanaf. Let's get into the makeup and I, I'm just going to quickly mention this because maybe I've been talking about it very often in most of my favorites, but I think I've sort of forgotten all my other foundations. But the Surat Dewdrop Foundation is... Oh my gosh, my just go-to foundation. If I don't know what to use, if I can't find my Shantakai, this is the one I go for. It's so beautiful. It makes my skin look even more beautiful after I've worn it for a couple of hours. It's 
it is what it says, right? Dew drop. It's so dewy, it's so hydrating, and it really makes my skin just glow. So yeah, I've been talking about this several times, but yeah, I love this. I use the color 3, and sometimes I'll mix it with uh, number 5. The foundation that I'm using today is the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick, and my color is Atelier number 2. Wow. I forgot how good and how quick and efficient a stick foundation is. It's so easy. It's so good. I am using it today. My skin just looks really hydrated. It is like a thicker version of the Surat Dewdrops. But because it's in a stick form, it's so easy to use. I'll just swipe a few stripes on my skin. I can use my fingers, but today I used a brush. It's very emollient, so it will spread very easily. I have used stick foundations that it's kind of dry and maybe a little bit more matte that I feel like I'm dragging my skin. But this, no, it's so emollient, it's so easy to spread and just, you know, even out on the skin. But once it sort of sets, it's so flawless. I think you can get quite close to a full coverage foundation with this. And for me, I don't really have a lot of discoloration on my skin, so I can actually also use this as a concealer. So it is so versatile. The only thing is it's quite expensive, but maybe this would last me quite a while because I only use like a couple of stripes on, oh, well, not a couple, like two stripes on my, each side of my face, a few stripes on my forehead. I think, it will, I think it will go a long way. So obviously, as I use it, I will run down the product and I'll let you know how long it lasts but it's definitely a huge favorite if I don't know what to use if I'm not using the Surat I'm like oh maybe not a liquid foundation today this is the one that I have used using alternatively this month let me stick with the Westman Atelier the reason I had started to explore Westman Atelier was I think I saw it launch on Selfridges and we don't have it here in Singapore and when I saw it on Selfridges, I was thinking, oh my gosh. And I did a lot of like YouTube reviews, uh, watching some YouTube reviews, and everyone was just in love with this product, and I know why. This is the mm, Super Loaded Tinted Highlight in Peau de Peche. I think this is the very first color that they came out with. And I actually saw this when I was in America. Was it Australia? I saw it and I when I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's kind of dark for a dark and glittery for a blush. And I didn't think about it. There was a couple, there was like a few years ago. But then after I saw some reviews on it and I saw the way they used it, I was kind of like tempted. I wanted to explore. And oh my gosh, I love it. So the brush that I'm using with for this, because it's a cream product is the mini base from Sonia G. So I'll dip it in and I've put it on top of my bronzer, which is also a favorite, I'm gonna talk about that. And it's just this, can you see? It's this glow on the skin. It looks like it's, I don't know, it looks like maybe it's too much because all the lights are beaming on me. But in real life, when you see me, it just looks like I have a healthy, um, peachy, healthy glow on my skin. That's not like a glowing, like, glittery highlighter it's just as if i've been sitting out in the sun i have a little bit of like dew like a little bit of sweat that's mixed in with this blush under my skin and it's just this light gloss like a ah, the gloss is like too too gooey right but it's so like hydrated cheeks so oh my gosh i love it i've used it on top of blush and today, I've just used it on top of just bare foundation skin. I think it looks so good. You know, it does not emphasize the pores, the, the glitter. I want to say glitter. It's like the really, really fine highlight is so fine that I don't think it's emphasizing any of my pores. Now, but if you do have texture on the top of your cheekbones, I would caution this product because then it will obviously emphasize um, texture like bumps and stuff which I think most highlights does that but it has this really nice slightly peachy pink hmm, I don't even know peachy peachy pink goodness to it it's so beautiful such a unique product but again so expensive <laughs> 
But yeah, I I I have been enjoying the Westman Atelier line and kind of interested to explore a little bit more but I don't want to be greedy just use whatever I have right now so yeah this is another favorite and finally is the Gucci bronzer wow this bronzer is phenomenal firstly it's such a beautiful bronzer you can get this bronzer bronzer contour but go really really light-handed with it I took my fan brush from Sonia G I went kapow and I did one swipe on my cheek it was like brown <laughs> But what's great about this product is that it's so easy to blend. I just took a big fluffy brush and I blended it out. It was so beautiful. Just a light, like bronzy cut along the cheek. I put it along my jawline as well and just gives me a healthy glow. Not that I want to have like a really bronzy look, but just a little bit to give the face a bit of dimension. So yes, those are the four um, makeup items that I have been enjoying this month. Okay, let me share some luxury items. First is this beautiful necklace from Ideal Jewelry. This was sent to me and I will link the video um, up here so you can check it out. I have been wearing this every night. Yes, I do not take it off. Same with the earrings since the video was posted. And since I put it on my ears, I have not taken it off. I used it, I've been using it for the gym. I'm using it into the shower, sleep. I have been wearing this necklace non-stop, this pair of earrings non-stop and I love it. These are lab grown diamonds, which are actually real diamonds, except the process of making these diamonds are different. They're not from the ground, with the earth, like billions of years to create the diamonds. These are lab grown, but they use the same process. It starts from a seed and then they just accelerate it, but the composition is the same. It is made of carbon. So they are diamonds, but because they are lab grown, they are more sustainable. Anyway, so beautiful. I love the concept. It's modular. So if I want to buy another like necklace or like a pendant, I can just incorporate it with the existing necklace. Or if I want to use the diamond stud, I can change up the backing. Oh my god, I just love, okay, love these pieces that I have. So it's definitely a huge favorite this month. The next favorite that I have is actually from Longchamp. Let me show you. It is this cute fillet bag. It is so fun. It's so bohemian. I have been using it to put my gym clothes, my books. Uh, when I go grocery shopping, I swear I have been using this bougie grocery bag. When I go out, the holes, you know, the, like the, the see-through, like the, I don't know, the netting, it's actually not too big. It, you can actually put your um, iPhone AirPods and it won't come out. Now, in terms of safety, obviously, you don't want to be putting like very expensive items that can be seen because somebody could just like pull it and it could break. But, uh, you know, with so many things that I put inside this, it has held up really, really well. And I filled it up so much that once you fill it up like with clothes, you know, big bulky things, it actually has the shape of a Longchamp bag. How freaking cute is that? So because I love it so much, I have ordered another one in blue. Um, obviously, it's not here yet, but yeah, it's super cute. I got this from Farfetch. And, you know, if you have, like, any discount codes, my discount code is... Is it still available? I don't think it is. But if it is, I'll link it down below. This, you can get cheaper if you're than Singapore. So there's a discount. Obviously, if you can get a discount for this bag, go for it. It's not that... Ver it's not very expensive. Still, of course, it's a net bag. It is more pricey, but if you want to have some bougie in your luxury items, super, super cute. It has the top handle, it has the longer handles, you can wear it on the shoulder. Really, really adorable. So yeah, big favorite for this month. Francis Kirchen Baccarat Rouge Axtra, the one in the red bottle. Stop me every morning. If I'm not going to the office, or even if I'm going to the office, I come to my cupboard, I just want to use this. I haven't used any of my other perfumes since I got this. I just love how it smells on me. It's more mellow compared to the original version, but it's so rich and it goes so well with my body chemistry. I just cannot stop using it every day. Even if I'm at home, I just want to like put a little bit here. The only thing is that my nose does get 
agnostic to it. I think that's the word. Like you just can't smell it anymore, which is kind of frustrating because I know that when somebody walks past me, they are like smelling me because this has tremendous projection. People are smelling me, <laughs> okay? But unfortunately, I'm not smelling me, but I want to smell me. I want to like, so when I kind of like can't smell me anymore, I go like, and it lasts the whole day. Oh my, I lo lo love the extract version. This, this is my perfume. I have only known two perfumes that I have gone head over heels with. Anik Guttal, Petit Sherry, and this is the second version. And that's saying a lot because I, I do love my perfumes, but nothing has made me just go like, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna finish off with my Kelly. Since I revealed it, I also have just done a Kelly review. I, yeah, I have fallen not only head over heels, several times head over heels for this bag. I'm just so in love with this bag. It's the Cellier that just drew me in instantly. I don't know if I'm a Kelly girl, to be frank. I'm still deciding if I'm a Birkin girl or a Kelly girl, but I'm definitely a Cellier girl. So this sharp corners, this whole boxy, snobby look, I love it so much. I love a structured bag. I think, I think I've always known it when I look at certain bags, like some of my other bags, when it's a little too slouchy, I kind of fall out of love with it after a while. But when it comes to a structured bag, this sharp, you know, edgy look, oh, I'm all for it. So yeah, I, I love it. I love the Cellier. So it's definitely a favorite. It actually sits outside here because I just feel like I want to grab and use it every weekend. So that's, that's just crazy. Now, when I've been going out, so this is an honorable mention. I actually received this carry from the company called carry and it's actually a let me just take it out and you can see it's really beautifully wrapped i wanted to keep the box because i wanted to show you what it looks like so this is the um kind of like a bag holder it's really really substantial it's weighty and it feels good in the hands it's got a bit of weight i love the construction of this so it does come with a little like um pouch that you can carry along with it so i have been i've used this a few times definitely will let you know if this as i use this more as i bring this bag out and i put it at the side of the table i will let you know how it holds up but it's definitely an honorable mention because it's actually really well made i've had several of these kind of um i don't know what they call like bag holders that you put at the side of the table and then you can just hook your bag like this especially the expensive bags. You don't want to like putting it in the back of your seat. Somebody might take it or you might squash it. So you want it to be like right where you can see it, especially when going out for dinners and all. It's actually really sturdy. It, it feels good in the hands. They have several colors. The color that I got is gold. It doesn't slip off. I have like one of the ones with like a diamond. You can buy it from like a cheap shop. Because it's light and it doesn't have enough like heft to it, it can easily get, you know, when your leg moves and you touch, it can easily move off the table. But because this has um, the weight, it's a bit more resistant to pushes or nudges. And it has like this kind of like a non-slip um, back on this. So it wouldn't like move on the table. So yeah, it's very, very well made. Um, I'm going to link it down below. You can go and check it out. I took gold because, yeah, it matches the gold on my <laughs> Kelly as well as my Birkin. And yeah, I'll definitely let you know how it works out next um, next month in my favorites again. It's super nice. It's like, can you hear that? It's really cool. So yeah, this is definitely an honorable mention for this month. This is the Carrie Atelier um, bag holder. So those are all the favorites that I have this month. I hope you enjoyed it. I will link everything in the description section down below so that you can easily, easily check it out. And remember, if you want to check out something from Mom Silk, now is the time. They have 12% discount site-wide. And again, remember, they have that 100-day return policy, which is really, really generous. So you can try out something and, you know, make a change later on during that time. So again, thank you for watching and if you are not subscribed, I do hope you are subscribed. Hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, everyone, please take care, stay safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!